Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to explain in easy way uh, tips on how to find bugs or defects quickly. I'm going to talk about 10 different ways we can find the bugs quickly. So that is the purpose of this video. Let's find out how to find bugs or defects quickly. The first method is we have to focus on high risk areas of the application. If you focus on high risk areas of the application, definitely you can find the bugs very quickly because these are uh, newly developed or modified features which are very high risk in nature and uh, if there is a complex code is been implemented then that is also an high risk area where we can focus on finding more defects. If a given area which is having history of huge defects then we can try that area as well to find the bugs or defects quickly. The next one is using heuristic uh, methods such as uh, error guessing or boundary testing. If you use this error guessing and boundary testing, these are some rule of thumb uh, techniques. If you follow this error guessing technique or uh, boundary testing, definitely we can find more defects as quick as possible in the application. And then, Third one is exploratory testing technique. If we adopt as well, we can find out more bugs or defects. Yeah, the techniques are session based techniques where we are going to do a testing based on the time box session. Maybe next 30 minutes or one hour, we are going to concentrate on a particular feature of the application and we are going to test. If you do that with a thorough focus on a particular feature the time bound fashion we can find more issues or defects even the tour based mechanism as well we can find more bugs especially with uh, various uh, tour mechanism like data tour scenario tour or even ui tour if you follow this technique definitely we can find more bugs or defects in the application the next one is if you are going to stress the application then also we are going to get more defects or bugs stress means we are going to push the system or application to its limits like by entering a large or unexpected inputs rapidly switching the between the features by clicking here and there and uh, testing simultaneously interacting like uh, multiple users are accessing in the same application for the application or in the same computer or different computer parallelly we are doing trying to do different things and uh, if we do all these uh, aspects or even putting more performance or load limits on the application by slow network or offline modes with various these combinations we can stress the application when you stress the application we can we can find more defects as well. And the next method is targeting the edge cases. If we target the edge cases for an application, we can find a lot of uh, hidden bugs like empty field, invalid data formats, maximum and minimum values for a numeric uh, input, special characters inputting, unusual uh, input combination if we put it. Even if we explore the negative testing as well, we can find out more uh, defects in the application. And the next thing is where we are going to concentrate on testing the integration points in the application. If you adopt this testing this integration points, um, example where we have a database connection in the application or API connection between the different APIs or applications or external service calling. If you test these integration points even here as well, we can find out more issues because there could be data flow problems might be there between different modules, third party services uh, via integrations points. And the next one is focusing on error handling techniques. If you properly test these uh, error handling uh, things like deliberately triggering errors by entering invalid errors or outbound uh, uh, data and uh, making the network failures, database timeouts, unexpected user actions. If you perform all these operations uh, by focusing on error handling uh, things, 
in this case as well we can find out more defects or bugs in the application and the next one is reusing the known bug pattern if you adapt if you know certain bug pattern in our application where we can find out more uh, issues we can reuse that concept what are the previously identified bug pattern then we can use the same flow or same path definitely we can find out some more issues as well by following this uh, known bug pattern and the next one is pay attention to regression areas because this is very crucial whenever we add new things or when we are, whenever we are going to modify the new things to the application if we pay attention to this regression areas definitely we can find out more issues because earlier issues can pop up again in the regression testing hope uh, you guys got a clear idea now what are the various ways or techniques if we adopt we can find out more bugs or more defects very quickly from the application thanks for watching this video if you really like this video please click on like button if you guys are not subscribed do subscribe as well as share this video with the other people as well so that they will also know what are the various uh, different technique or tips which we can adapt to find out more bugs or defects very quickly.